Hi, and welcome to adding enemies to the shooter game and wrapping up section. In the previous section, we learned how to create a VR shooter game in Unreal Engine 4. In this section, we'll learn how to add enemies to the VR shooter game, create a simple enemy lock-on mechanic, add a simple scoreboard, and configure a lose condition for our game. Let's start with the first video of the section, Enemy Creation. In this video, we're going to add enemies to the VR shooter game we developed in the previous section and configure a way to kill them via projectiles and grenades. We have opened up the project from the previous videos and we're ready to create the enemy's blueprint. So, create a blueprint that inherits the actor class and name it BP underscore enemy. Let's open it up and dock the window over here. Then, let's add a new static mesh component. Assign the 1M underscore cube static mesh to its mesh. Then, set its location to 53 units on the z-axis. Moreover, scale the mesh by 0 0.09, 0 0.07 and 1.1 on the x, y and z-axis respectively. Like so. Let's add an additional static mesh to the default scene component. Then, just like before, set its mesh to 1M underscore cube. Let's edit this mesh a bit as well. Set its location to 155 units on the z-axis and assign the values 0 0.2, 0 0.7 and 0 0.9 on the x, y and z-axis respectively. Then, let's compile and save. Now, let's open up the event graph of this blueprint and go into an empty area in its graph. Let's create a new custom event over here, which we're going to name Die. Drag a wire from its execution pin and call the destroy actor function, as you might have guessed. Let's compile and save. We're done with this blueprint, so let's close it and open up the first person projectile blueprint class that is located inside the blueprints subfolder in the first person blueprint folder. Then locate the pre built event hit which is over here, as you can see, and place a sequence node between the event and the branch node. Let's move these two nodes over here, just like this. Okay, great. Then, drag off a wire from the other parameter of the heat event and attempt to cast it into the BP underscore enemy class we created a few moments ago, like so. Let's connect the casting node with the second execution wire of the sequence node. Then, since we want to one-shot all the enemies we've hit, call the die function from the casted enemy. Let's compile, save, and close this blueprint since we're not going to modify it any further. At this point, we need to configure a way to destroy enemies by throwing grenades near them. So, let's go into the items folder and bring up the BP underscore grenade blueprint. Then, select the delay and destroy actor functions and move them a bit to the right. Just like this. And since we have enough space, place a sequence node between the set simulating physics and delay functions. Moreover, move the execution Y of the sequence nodes from the first execution pin to the second one. Then, let's go a bit higher in the graph and call the multi-sphere trace for objects function, like so. And don't forget to connect it to the first execution pin of the sequence node. So, let's configure our raycast. To do that, 
call the getActorLocation function and provide the returned vector to the start parameter. Connect the end parameter with the function as well. To configure the explosion radius of our grenade, assign a value of 1500 units in the radius parameter. Drag a wire from the object types and select the Make Array option. Then set its enum to World Dynamic instead of World Static. At this point, we need to destroy any enemies that were close to our grenade's explosion. To do that, we're going to use some information from the Out Hits result of the Trace function. So, drag a wire from the out hits and call a for each loop. Don't forget to connect it with the trace function. In order to check every nearby actor with hit, drag a wire from the array element and select the break hit results option from the menu. Let me move these nodes since they're getting in our way. Then from the break hit results node over here, Drag a wire from the hit actor parameter and attempt to cast it into the BP underscore enemy class. Don't forget to connect this node with the loop's body. So, in essence, we're trying to figure out if we've hit any enemies. And so, if the cast was successful, we call the die function from the casted enemy. We're done with this blueprint, so let's compile and save it. Let's open up our map and place some enemies in order to test the end result. So let me place one enemy over here. And another one right over here. Let me duplicate him, rotate him a bit. And move this guy over here, and we should be fine. Now, since we have placed some enemies, let's launch the VR preview to test the end result. Let me grab my HMD and get a weapon, just to test out the functionality. Okay, there we go. And now, as you can see, I can destroy these enemies with a successful hit. Let's see what happens if I throw a grenade near these two enemies. So, let me grab a grenade and try my best to throw it between these two guys over here. Both of these enemies have been destroyed. So that's it for this video.